Hi, my name is Dave Nicholl, Business Manager at Malexia UK. To start the acquisition process, all you need to do is push the acquire. The first action in the process is a deploy. This command will drive the antenna to a set position so the feed arm clears the fairing and it returns the pole and azimuth positions to zero. During the process, the icon indication will be orange, showing the action is in process. Once the process has been completed, the icon will go green. Once the antenna has successfully completed a deploy, it will start the initialization phase. During initialization, the antenna will read all the sensors and instruments required to calculate the position of the satellite. It will read the GPS so it knows where the antenna is in the world. It will read the heading from the magnetometer so we know which way the antenna is pointing. And it will read the pitch and roll sensors to determine the terrain conditions the antenna is sitting on. It will then interrogate the satellite database to find the orbital slot of the reference satellite and calculate the position for the azimuth, elevation and pole. Once the elevation has been calculated for the reference satellite, the antenna will drive 20 degrees above the geostationary arc and calibrate the DVB receiver in a clear sky measurement. Using the information from the target screen, the aim will then set the correct polarisation for the reference satellite and drive to the start of the search window. The AIM has a dual drive speed system which will allow the azimuth and elevation to be driven simultaneously, giving a smooth and precise motion which is very important for fast and accurate identification and peaking. At the start of the azimuth search window, the elevation will be correct and it will be perfect for the geostationary reference satellite. The pitch and roll sensors will compensate for any tilt or gradient the antenna may see and maintain a constant elevation across the whole complete sleep window. Once lock has been detected, AIM will drive through the signal until lock is lost. The system will then drive azimuth to the calculated position in the center of the lock. To achieve maximum signal strength, the AIM will then perform a peak function on the reference signal, before comparing the information held in the satellite database to confirm that we are pointing at the correct satellite. If your reference and target satellites are different, once the reference has been successfully identified, AIM can then drive the antenna to the target satellite position, changing the polarisation and LMB settings if required. And once again, to achieve maximum signal strength on bore site, the AIM will perform a peak function on the target satellite and compare information to confirm we are locked and acquired on the correct satellite. 